Hello and welcome to computer class. My name is Dave and today we are talking about how to create slides that don't infringe on copyright laws. And so this is actually a big deal, bigger than any of you guys might think. I think what a lot of you do is you go to your slide presentation and you just, you know, create something and you go to Google Images for instance and type, you know, smoke background go to images and you go oh this looks good you know and you grab one of these and you right click and you download it or this one right here but you would be infringing on copyright laws it's actually taking someone else's creative work and you can't just right click and, and save this and dump this into your presentation you actually need to go find a picture that is copyright free uh, something that is under a license called Creative Commons. So I wanna actually explain that by going to the Creative Commons site. This is Creative Commons, and they explain what that means on the site. I will link it down in the video description. But uh, basically, the author of the work gets to choose the type of license and how much ability you have to manipulate it, change it, slice and dice it, and use it for your projects. And there are lots of people involved in this um, and lots of creative people who are trying to share their work. And that's what Creative Commons has given them the platform to do. Uh, what is Creative Commons? Again, it's just a licensing that allows creative people to give away their media for free. Um, and there are some restrictions, too, that apply depending on um, the type that they release it as. So there's a video here. I'm gonna encourage you to watch watch it. What our licenses do. Not actually gonna clip it, uh, click it for copyright reasons. That's why I don't watch any of the videos I show you guys. I just link them in the description. And then I will also link this in the description. This is all about the shared culture of Creative Commons and what it means. And in the videos, it will talk about the different licensees that exist. But we still gotta solve a problem for ourselves how do we get a hold of oh by the way i'll also link this down in the description this is copyright basics okay that's another link i'm going to put down there but how do we get a hold of copyright free images now there's tons of sites out there i think Pixab pixabay is one of them but i use unsplash.com because these are creative commons um license free in other words like you can use these pictures for anything so if i type smoke background and by the way you got to be careful what you type in here we don't want any bad stuff popping up be very careful okay you know just type wholesome things but anyway um, I'm gonna download this and notice this person created this work and so thanks to them for allowing me to uh, download their image so once I download I just click the little download button and um, I can favorite it if I create an account and stuff. It's kind of cool. I can just click and drag and pull this up, hover over that tab and drop it into my project. And then I could start creating. Now this may not seem like a big deal to you and you may be like, I don't really care. Here, I'm gonna hit crop and crop this. I don't really care what people say about, you know, uh, their work, you know, I'm just gonna steal it anyway. But again, that's wrong. So. You should care about thieving. You shouldn't just download people's videos for free and take their content that they've created. You shouldn't just take their music, take their, the people have spent their livelihood trying to create that and it's not free to them. So even if the internet provides you a way to steal, doesn't mean you should. And so again, Creative Commons is created to protect works that exist that are copyrighted and also to let you know um, which works are free to just take, okay? Also, you could have gone to insert and under uh, image here, you can search the web. And so if we did smoke background, I search for it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it should find images that are Creative Commons, if I'm not mistaken. I think PowerPoint has this feature too. So again, 
keep in mind that people created work and you need to um, just be mindful that they own that. And if you are going to use something that is copyrighted, you need to get the person's permission and or if they say put attribution underneath or put like a little line that says this was created by this person, if that's what they ask you to do. Anyway, I'm going to continue on and design something here. I'm going to use the word wicked because it sounds cool. I don't know. <laughs> it just kind of goes with the smoke. I'm going to hit insert, click word art, wicked. Um, let's do wicked. Let's do all one word, wicked one. Bam. Actually, let's do uppercase. This looks better. Oops, I still put the space. <laughs> All right, boom. And I wanna show you kind of a design feature you could do here. Get it like a little, just kind of stretched out. Now notice the guides when I move it back and forth, it actually um, works on it with me. And if I go to, let's see, I could type Arial. Can I type Arial? Oh, I can't type in there. Let me just scroll down and find. I want Arial. Hmm. Let's make the border outline transparent. Let's make the fill. Yeah, that's a good fill. Arial bold. There we go. I'm going to erase this, actually. I could get two pieces of text side by side and do one. There we go. All right. This one will just not bold, for instance. OK. So if you click on, once you click on the text, you click on format options, you can kind of resize things, scale it, flip it around. You can do the position of things, top left, top right. You could give things a drop shadow, which could be pretty cool here. Let's actually uh, turn that on, you know. Look at that, that looks pretty sweet. Let's check that on for this one. Right, see how that kind of just pops out there? That's nice. You could do a reflection if you want to. So, could be kind of neat. Oops, I didn't select any, <laughs> a piece of text. There we go. And so you can kind of see if you play around with some of the formatting options, you could really come up with an amazing looking graphic that looks pretty sick. Wicked one. It'd be like the devil, for instance. Um, he's a liar. I'll just be honest. Usually, I would put something like a maybe a Bible verse down here or something, um, making a slide for something I'm talking about or something like that. Bible related. Okay. Anyway. Needless to say, you can see how you can make a graphic, but this is all using the Creative Commons so that no one is infringed upon, no one's stuff is stolen. Um, we're not, you know, taking anyone's work or content that they created. So do yourself a favor, make a slide presentation with uh, three or more slides and see what you can come up with. See what you can come up with when you click on the text and hit the formatting options when you play with the fonts, when you uh, grab backgrounds from different places like this, and just see what you can come up with in Google Slides. Anyway, hopefully you learned something today. Make sure to watch those videos on Creative Commons, and I will see you in the next video.